Okay, so I'm filming another face of the day today. I just uploaded one last night that I filmed on Tuesday. I have the camera a little higher up, so it's now more like eye level with me. The The way that it was was that in, in my last face of the day, I'm trying to process my thoughts here, in my last face of the day, my camera was just a little lower, so I felt like I had to kind of like look down, and it gave me kind of like a double chin type of effect and I was actually a little self-conscious about uploading that video because I didn't feel like it came out that well but I don't know whatever I really wanted to do my whole video today and hopefully I will be able to I'm waiting for UPS to come with one last package and then I can do a whole video but right now I'm just doing a face of the day felt like doing my makeup today so foundation old faithful my makeup forever face and body Love this. Love it so much. Concealer. NYX HD concealer. Another holy grail item for me. To set my entire face, I first used Ethereal Light from Hourglass under my eyes and like onto my cheekbone area. And all over my face I used Diffused Light also from Hourglass. As- oh jeez. Well, that's something to discuss, isn't it? Okay, so as my blush, I'm using my Physician's Formula Happy Booster Rose Blush. I love this blush. This is another holy grail for me. I, Whenever I don't know what to wear, I wear that blush. It's a weird thing. It's a weird relationship that we have, but I really enjoy it. For my highlight, once again, I'm using my Laura Mercier I don't know, it's a long ass name, but this is Highlight. <laughs> it's like their matte, matte radiance baked powder. Ugh, could they make it longer? But this is just the highlight shade that I thoroughly enjoy. Now for my eyes, okay, I'm using this little Makeup Forever Artist palette. Last night I watched Leisha X Barkage and she did a Leisha Loves video or something like that. I think that's what it's called. And she mentioned this palette. And now let me be honest with you. I've had this palette for, if I can get it open. I've had this palette, and there you go. That's what it looks like. Anyway, I've had this palette since August or September or something like that. And I can honestly say I've used it twice, <laughs> including today. I don't know what it is about this palette and these shadows, okay? I, I got this because I really wanted to try the new artist shadows from Makeup Forever, because everybody is going ass overhead crazy. Does anybody say that? I don't know. I think I just made that up. But anyway, they're going nuts over these things, okay? And so I was like, all right, this palette had just come out, and I was like, okay, I want to try them. You know, what's the worst that happens? I don't like them. And I'm really kind of confused as to how I feel about them, because on one hand, the quality really is just superb, okay? It is beautiful, but super pigmented products kind of scare me. For my eyeliner, I'm using my... Urban Decay Ink for Eyes is a good eyeliner. I like it. I like that it's a felt tip, but it's not a stiff felt tip because those I hate. I think they're awful. <laughs> mascara, I'm kind of like going through my mascaras right now and just seeing which ones are still okay and seeing which ones can be thrown out and seeing which ones I even like to begin with. Because, I don't know, I went on this mascara binge in, you know, like maybe a few months ago, and I, I kind of hoarded a bunch of them, and I used them all, like maybe like once or twice, so I'm just going through them. Anyway, so this is Maybelline's Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. This is probably ridiculously old news to everybody, but, you know, I, it's okay. And then on my lips, I'm wearing Lipstick Queen's Jean Queen. So a little bit of an update for you guys, okay? I have started my blog again. If some of you may or may not know this, I mean, 
I don't know how many people like followed me over from Bombaholic TV, but whatever. I don't even know how many people are even seeing my videos at this point because they're, I don't know, YouTube is weird. Like, I'm subscribed to quite a few people and I literally get like the same <laughs> 10 people showing up in my subscription feed. It's really obnoxious, but what are you going to do? Um, but anyway, so I don't even know if anybody's seeing these videos, but whatever. Anyway, I started my blog again. Uh, it's not Confessions of a Bombaholic anymore. It is just The Bombaholic because I figured that that was, I don't know, it just felt more suitable to me. I don't know. I, I felt like Confessions of a Bombaholic died when it was hacked and I kept trying to bring that back and I think the reason why I was having such a hard time bringing it back was because I'm not that person anymore so I'm now the bombaholic and I am strictly reviewing lip balm on that blog it, it's I'm going back to my roots it's so funny okay this is this is hysterical to me because I was like I was trying to reinvent myself basically okay I was trying to move away from the whole bombaholic thing and I feel like I've come full circle which is basically what I've done because I started as bombaholic TV I started as confessions of a bombaholic and then I was like oh well I want to get away from that I don't want to do lip balm anymore blah 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 and then I kind of like morphed into something that I didn't even recognize like I didn't feel like myself at all and like slowly but surely I turned into something that is very much what I was to begin with it's kind of funny the way that happens but I don't know I'm really happy I have a few reviews up I, I literally just started this last week and I am really, really thrilled to be back reviewing lip balm. Obviously, I'm not going to be reviewing lip balm on this channel. I have The Bombaholic, which is my blog, and then I have this, which is just like an extension off of that where I talk about makeup and other things that are going on. So anyway, I will have the link to that down below, always, as usual. And I will have the link to my Instagram down there because that is just a fun time for everybody. I don't post, like, constantly. I see some people that post, like, hundreds of pictures every single day. What are you doing, cat? I see people that post, like, hundreds of pictures every single day. I'm really not like that. I'm not, like, carrying around my phone 24 hours a day just on on the ready to take an Instagram picture. I don't really do that. And a lot of the time I'm not even thinking to take an Instagram picture. I'm just like every now and then, oh let me take a picture of that for Instagram. <laughs> yeah let's take an Instagram picture right now. Huzzah. Anyway, that that my Instagram name, what is this? I, my Instagram name will be down below. Always follow me. So I'm gonna film a couple videos today. Hopefully one of those videos will be a haul. Like I said, I'm waiting for UPS to get here. They're taking their dear sweet time. It is after 5 and they haven't come yet. They've been out for delivery since 8 o'clock in the morning. The hell. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and ta-ta.